Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jay. For today's video, we're gonna get my life together. <laughs> my room is such a mess right now. Like, I just did laundry too, and I like was putting it away, and I didn't even put it away. My, my bed isn't made, there's stuff all over the floor. I just need to get everything back together. Now, today we're just gonna be getting my life together. We're gonna be cleaning my room. Today's also my brother's birthday, so we're gonna be celebrating that with family today, and they're gonna be coming over. But we just got back from Kapunga Bay. It's a water park here in Vegas. I'm gonna go shower, and then we're gonna go clean up all this mess. Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower right now. Um, my hair's still a little wet, but it's okay. It'll I'm gonna let it air dry. But we're gonna clean up my room right now. I'm just wearing something really simple because I just want to be comfortable and I'm actually tired from the water park. We're gonna start with my desk because there's way too much stuff on here and it does not help with my anxiety. So let's go do that. water because I'm dehydrated so I'm gonna clean up my desk right now so because there's a lot of stuff on there and there's just like too much going on you guys see that do you see that I'm gonna clean it up right now I don't know about you guys but whenever school starts whenever i'm in school and it's not summer like all summer my room can be clean like all summer but as soon as school starts like my room's a mess my clothes are everywhere and it does not help i like a clean space and i have really bad anxiety and it like if it's too cluttered if there's stuff everywhere it <laughs> does not go up for me also i don't know if you guys knew this but if you guys to have too many water bottles lying around your room, that actually can bring really bad energy into your room. I don't know why, but I do notice that every time I leave water bottles in here. I'm a very superstitious person, and I'm a bit spiritual, so when it comes to that stuff, I like to make sure that I try not to do it, and that I clean my room regularly, and I cleanse it too. So, I was like looking through my stuff earlier, like downstairs. I don't know if your parents have this, but like if you have like student of the month or you win awards, they put them up. I had, I did football last year and I found a bunch of these pictures where you can cut out and give it to people. Bro, such a different person. That is crazy. And I look really beefy. I did lose a lot of weight after playing football um, just because I wasn't being asked for to go after. So then I started working out and I don't think you guys can really tell because I'm wearing a baggy t shirt. I have a sleeper belt. It doesn't suck, but like, I don't know, like, girl, I work out. I'm wearing a baggy t shirt, whatever, but I'm just saying. <laughs> one thing that does help me is journaling. I have, so I have two journals. This one is a personal one where I just like vent out everything. And then this one is my Bible one. So I'll you know, go on Pinterest or whatever and I write down my favorite um, prayers and I put them in here and I pray. It definitely does help. You know, it's kind of weird recording myself cleaning my room because it's not like I'm obligated to clean my room. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know why but so on Friday I decided to wear a hoodie to school and it was very very hot like in Vegas like the weather is so bipolar like one day it could be raining and another day it could be blazing hot like girl pick one I was like oh it's gonna be nice in the morning like it'll be fine and it was nice in the morning and then it progressively started getting hot which is not a good idea but it just like makes me want it to get colder that much more and i want to wear stuff like this i want to wear cute outfits like this long sleeve um sweatsuits and all that stuff but i can't because it's really hot and if you do girl it, i'm gonna be sweaty i've always struggled with myself mentally ever since like probably when i was like 10 it started happening when i like started struggling a lot but <sighs> I've learned to cope with it, how to cope with it, and um, what to do to make life for myself much better. So 
definitely like this past year i've seen a shift happen in my life where i'm not always negative you know i'm trying to do the best that i can and you know it's really all i can do is just try to be a better person and make better for myself you know because like and like another crazy thing is that um so in the middle of the summer I was like, okay, like, I'm, like, sick of people. <laughs> and this was, like, a month into, m a month into summer. And so I was like, yeah, I'm sick of this. Like, I cannot do this. Like, I need space from people. So I willingly took a step to kind of isolate and ghost everyone. And a week went by of ghosting people. And I was like, okay, like, I, I want to socialize now. And so as soon as I start socializing, my phone breaks. <laughs> My phone breaks. So I'm like, okay. Do you know when you put your password in, I had to put it in, but one, two, three would not work. So I couldn't even get into my phone. So when I try to get into a phone, they're like, okay, well, um, you have to go into your phone and you have to like shut off find my iPhone. So then we're like, girl, we just told you half the screen is broken. How are we gonna get into the phone so they're like okay well i'm sorry we can't do nothing for you and my mom was like mad they're like okay we'll give us all the passwords and everything and we can figure it out a month and a half later a month and a half later i did not have my phone for it. and i'm not gonna like be like oh my god guys like i didn't have my phone for like a whole month and a half no like i could not like socialize at all and that's the part that sucked about it. Obviously, like, I'm not, like, I'm not phone crazy. Like, being off my phone the whole time is kind of a wake-up call that I needed to take care of myself. And so, like, I started journaling, which I had not done for a while. Like, like I had not done for a while. So I started journaling again. Yeah, like, this song was definitely a wake-up call. So when I got my phone back, I was like, okay, I want to try something new. And that's when I started a YouTube channel. Honestly, I love making it too. And I'm gonna keep doing it, and I hope more and more people subscribe because I'm evicting my room, which I should start doing. I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop talking. I had an awakening, and I was like, you need to get your life together. And I did for a while, my room was always clean, and then school started, and then it just, like, it just, like, my brain wasn't braining. Like, I just, I was just going through it, so. Like, these past couple weeks have not been it at all. They've been very mentally challenging, very mentally draining. And because of that, my room's been a mess. So, we're cleaning it. And we're gonna try to get my life together. Okay. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Ooh. Ow. Ooh. Guys, I did leg day on Friday. Because I have weights. And I was doing squats, and my legs, like, to, like they, they're they gone. Like, my legs are just, they're done. They're done. But, um, you know, that's what you have to do to get thick. But we're just putting all my shoes um, in my closet. So, i put you guys right here. Okay, there you go. Okay, we're just going to put all my shoes in here. Oh, my God, guys, I got new Crocs. They're so cute. Look, they're so cute. I love them. Very comfortable. I need new Crocs because, like, I think about, like, a year ago, we went to Calabunga Bay, which is a water park here in Vegas, which I, you know, I went to today. And I had red Crocs, and we went to Calabunga Bay, and there's, like, a section where you can put all your, like, all your shoes so you can get into the water. And I put my red Crocs where I put the shoes are, and I went back. Somebody stole them. So, yeah, it was a sad day. <sighs> the thing about cleaning your room, I don't know if this is just me, but like it'll be a total mess and you're cleaning it up and then you just find yourself sitting here, like just sitting there because you're like so overwhelmed because there's so many things to do. You can't like, you can't concentrate and just pick one. But we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna keep cleaning. <laughs> But yeah, we just, we have to make my bed and then there's some stuff on the floor that we're gonna take care of. 
I'm basically almost done cleaning my room. Um, I cleaned up the mess I was right here, and I did my bed, and I cleaned up my nightstand a bit. Oh yeah, and um, I told you that I was cleaning my desk. <laughs> I had to transfer a mess over, and I put it on the desk, so now I have to clean it up again. So I'm just gonna do it right now. clean my room right now i'm gonna go downstairs to go hang out with family because everybody's getting here for my little brother's birthday so i'm gonna go hang out with some family um and yeah i'll talk to you guys later hey guys so i was not able to film yesterday due to me being a family and i was spending time with everybody downstairs for the little party that we we're having for my brother's birthday so today is next day it's sunday and it's currently 1 36 p.m so but yeah, we're gonna continue where we left off. I cleaned my room, so next thing is journaling. I have two journals. So this one, I really just vent. I put a bunch, you know, if I'm angry, if I'm upset or anything, I put it all in here for myself because, I don't know, it's very concerned. There's something comforting about just journaling. It helps me. Um, and I also have another one. This is where I put all my Bible prayers. Both of these, I'd probably do every two to three days. I should be doing it every day, at least this one, but yeah, um, this is what I do to just kind of take like a mental reset because life's crazy and I need the outlet where I can, you know, run away too. So this is my outlet. So I'm just going to do this and it takes probably like 45 minutes at most. So let's do this. Sometimes you don't want to talk to people and the way I am is I don't really like to talk to people when I'm having anxiety I, so whenever I'm like going through something or like I'm like feeling a little depressed or whatever like I just like go in here and you know at the end of the day you still have yourself the only person you have is yourself like realistically it sounds like really like you know really depressing and really bad because you're like oh i have a bunch of people i can confide in and yeah that's true but you also need to learn to confide in yourself okay so I just did a little one, um, basically, like, ideas I wanted to do for YouTube videos and stuff like that. Nothing, you know, too crazy today. Now we're gonna do a couple prayers. that i wrote down because i'm done with that i'm just gonna chill for a little bit um my anxiety hasn't been too bad today um it was but it, like you know this week has has been rough but today's been a much much better day i feel better after you know journaling and all that so um i'm just gonna chill watch youtube oh i just got pizza costco pizza Oh, I'm gonna watch YouTube for a bit. What are your guys' favorite YouTubers? Comment down below, cause I'm curious. Up until recently, I've been watching my fam. Bro, she's amazing. If you don't know who that is, look her up. She's such a good YouTuber and like, she like inspired me to like start making YouTube. Her and her name's Nicole Leno. They're both so good, so entertaining. I'll link their channels down below if you guys wanna watch them. But and they talk about like mental health and stuff like that, resetting. So yeah, that's I love them. to get up and don't do things.
days. Like watching somebody else's videos made me feel better and like numbed my own pain. And I was like, oh my gosh, I get comments all the time being like, oh my God, my I watch your videos when I'm in a slump. And then I started doing that with somebody else's videos and I was like, oh my gosh, wait, like these videos actually make me feel better. And it like got me out of bed to work out because I saw the girl working out. And I was like, I need to make more videos because one, it gets me out of bed and two, it might get you out of bed. That is my motivation today. So I just finished watching YouTube for a little bit. Hey guys, so I forgot to keep filming. Um, I got really lazy and also I've been trying to hurry up and edit this video and I could post it since I am posting on Mondays and Fridays. But I hope everybody enjoyed this video. It took a lot of work, so I really, I would really appreciate it if everybody would comment, like, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. But I hope everybody has a good rest of the day. And yeah, bye guys.